My name is Margie DeMonte, and I'm working on a project to help feed the homeless and the hungry. I'm documenting the process by creating a series of mini documentaries. I'm also wanting to raise awareness of the importance of giving back to our society in whatever manner one can. So as a first step, I thought, why not try to get food trucks involved? I knew that the New England Open Markets and Central Square Business Improvement District were hosting a Cambridge Food Truck Festival in Central Square in August. I thought I'd document the festival while trying to mingle with the owners and workers of the food trucks and ask them if they could help me out with my project. I was very surprised to find out that many of them were already feeding the homeless and the hungry and that others were more than willing to help or direct me to organizations that might offer assistance. So despite the long hours worked and many expenses such as gas, maintenance, overnight parking fees, permit fees for each area that they go to, um, paying for staff, and most have commissaries where their food is stored and prepared, they are still able to give of their time and effort to help others. Well, I came with, away with a great deal of respect for these food truck owners and workers, especially knowing how difficult their jobs are. So I wanted to highlight their world and hope that in the near future, I will be able to use them to deliver and serve food to people who are in need. So let's watch the Cambridge Food Truck Festival and see how the business has grown and how they give back. The festival has over 40 of the region's top food trucks with a wide variety of food from American home fare to ethnic foods. There's a Notch Beer Garden beer truck, a 90s plus Cellars Rose truck, In many delicious desserts, you will not be disappointed. There are local artists and designers. And games for children. My interview with the owner of Chick Chack Food Truck. My name is Ari Kendall and I am the owner of Chick Chack Food Truck. Uh, our name in Hebrew is a term used for doing something quickly and seeing as we're a, a semi-fast service. Um, you know, everything is cooked in-house to order, but um, we try and do things efficiently. So it speaks to, uh, speaks to our style. We do Israeli food. We do falafel and grilled chicken, beef kebabs, hummus and baba ganoush. Yeah, um, I've been a chef for about 10 years here in Boston. Um, and it was at a point where I wanted to pursue more of my own passions um, and, and create food that meant a little bit more to me. Um, and so I went off and uh, started a food truck. Yeah, so we've, uh, we've worked with Loving Spoonfuls, which is an organization out here in Boston. They come around and pick up uh, leftover food that restaurants and caterers have and uh, feed it to the homeless. It takes a fair amount of equipment, um, pretty much the same amount as you'd find in any normal restaurant. In addition to having a food truck, we also have to have a commissary, uh, which is like a home base where we prepare all of our food as well. Well, thank you. I think you've answered all my questions. Excellent. Glad I can be of service. Come check us out. <laughs> My interview with the chicken and rice guys. I'm Joseph Padilla with the chicken and rice guys. Well, we've been serving in and around Boston for the better part of the last decade. Uh, we do a lot of locations nearby on the Greenway in Lexington and the surrounding areas, Burlington, Waltham, 
do a lot of women's shelters. We do donate a lot of food to the community in and around Everett. That's where our commissary is and in and around the city of Boston as well. Well, the best thing about the food that we make is that it's cultural food. It's self-sustainable and truly it's a really easy menu to be able to learn and customize to your own liking. Our menus were originally the same thing that they are now. They just manifested a little bit differently with the additions of Kumado and hummus and our baklava that we make in-house. Those are my buddies and we hang out for more than 40 hours a week. They're trying to hide from the camera. This guy over here is always trying to hide from the camera. We would have been in business for, if I'm not mistaken, nine years. We're going, yeah, we're, we should be going on to our 10th, if I'm not mistaken. The brick and mortars and everything came after the fact. We started with one truck. Our owner went down, went to Florida, picked up a truck, and we still have that same truck in operation. It's our T1, you know, it's our golden boy. And from there, we've expanded off to six trucks, three brick and mortars, catering. We opened up a new store in Houston. It's amazing. The experience is amazing. I'm going to demo a plate for you. Our normal size, a regular. If you ever get a plate, you just say the name of the plate. You're gonna end up with a regular size. Put our logo and information on it. Start off with turmeric yellow rice. And then, if you want no extras, from here on out, you're gonna have just your protein. In our case, we're gonna make you guys one with kumado and hummus. This is our kumado salad. It's tomatoes, and cucumbers that we dice and slice. We put with seasoning. Same seasoning we use for the chicken and the tofu. And then we put the limes. We can't get a secret out anyways. Juice of, of the citrus variety. We're gonna have to patent that one. Now here we do a scoop of jarro, which is a beef and lamb mixture. And then you have a combo with tomato, hummus, and pita. And then you go outside, it has our garlic creamy sauce, and then just douse it all over. Maybe a little barbecue for color, a little something light. A couple of dots of green. And then a little hot sauce at the end. And then this is what they usually do afterwards. They grab the white sauce all over again and put even more on top. I suggest that you either take that, close it, or hand it out because they're going to get real hungry and take it immediately. You want, you want it, it's yours. It's a combo plate with gyro and chicken, pita, hummus, humano salad on a bed of rice with pita, and I already put sauce on it for you. It's yours right now if you want it. It's free. No one wants? I'm close. No one wants? You want it? It's free. I am learning that there's a lot of work to be done and that I am going to need help from others. The more research I do, the more I learn about the staggering amount of food that is wasted and how many people and families are in need. I hope you stay tuned for part two of this mini documentary series on feeding the homeless and the hungry. This is where I find people to help me with a plan of action. And I'll also discuss all the statistics on food waste the homeless and the hungry. All on ACMI-TV, your local access TV station in Arlington, Massachusetts.